Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you how I build my turtle filter. Uh, all do it yourself. So no need to go spend $300 on an FX5. The most expensive part of this build will probably be the pump. So <clears throat> basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to go ahead and have a 1,000 gallon per hour pump and a 700 gallon per hour pump. And what they're going to do is they're going to pump both hoses are going to go through here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with all mechanical filtration. Those filter pads, those, um, those filter pads, and I'm going to get some uh, fluff. 100% so polyester from the craft store that you can get. I'm going to fill this. So then what I'm going to do is right down at the bottom of this bucket all the way around, I'm going to drill. There's already one in there. This used to be a filter. Um, the, that was the inlet, this was the outlet. So I'm just going to reuse this bucket and I'm going to drill a bunch of holes so that way it empties out into this basin. Now this is good because this will be an emergency in case those bottom holes get clogged. This can uh, act as an overflow. Then what I'm going to have is all these pop scrubbies I just finished rinsing have all good biological bacteria and whatnot. They all got bacteria and stuff in them. So they're going to go just like that. So that's not going to do anything. There's going to be holes down there and the water is going to be pouring in and it's going to go through all these little pot scrubbies and then there's going to have, I'm going to have a pipe right there going out. Uh, so I don't know, I might end up changing this design, uh, but so far this is pretty much how it's going to go. So I'm just going to go get the drill and start making my holes. All right, so about <clears throat> two hours later, and a lot of drilling. What I've done is I've taken this bucket and drilled all the front holes. And then I put two rocks underneath there in order to lift up the media. There's two of these pads. They're about a half an inch. And then, um, yeah, so that's to lift them up so that way the water gets underneath and can flow out. Uh, I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the front. Now I'm stuffing it with media. I'm going from biggest pads to the smallest or from smallest to largest so that way as it goes down it filters the big stuff then smaller and smaller so i'm going to fill this with fluff after i put down these um and so yeah so that's going to run it's going to go right here and i'll show you more in a bit all right guys so um Sorry, I had to cut there. I had to get out of outside. So, uh, what I did was basically I drilled the holes down there in the bottom of the bucket. So water's going to enter here, go down there. Actually, go down here. I'm going to add some more fluff. There's a whole bunch of filter pads. Um, and then if those get clogged down there, those holes, this is a little emergency pipe. So we're using my old filter setup. So the water enters there, goes down runs through all of those and goes into that pipe on the left. The one on the right is just to keep this from sliding and blocking that. So, um, yeah, I got some ghetto lighting rigged up so that way I can see. That was the heat lamp. So normally that's all I use. So I'm going to get some LED lights or something. So here are all the fish. I don't know if you can see these bad boys, but yeah, there you go. There's a whole lot of them. And they don't play around, so... I'm going to move this. I just had this for the past few days. I've been so busy I couldn't even do anything turtle related. So I just rigged up some pumps to get some air flowing. And um, Yeah, so now I'm going to feed the hoses through and kick everything on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. My hard work. I've been working since 3 o'clock. It's dark now. It's probably like 7. Um, so... Let's see if all my hard work paid off. I replaced one of the pumps with a 1,000 gallon per hour pump. The other is 700. Um, they're both running up in here. And then underneath in here, there's the lid of the buckets. They run through. Hold on. See, they run down into the bucket, and then I snap the bucket shut. Uh, so I'll, if I need to take a look inside... Undo it from here, have a look in, 
make sure everything will run smoothly, look down, check the water level, all that good stuff. So I think I'm gonna turn on one pump at a time. I'm not sure which is which. Let's go with this one. I have no idea which one this is though. Let's just pray nothing goes wrong. I feel it running. Can you hear it? Oh, this is the moment of truth. It's a little scary. No water coming up top. It should be going through the bottom. Should be going through all my media. Now I'll wait for it to start coming out. Hopefully. Uh, hey! Oh shoot, there's a little drip coming out in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little drip. But that's all right. It's the reason that I put it up front. You know? Because a little drip is not going to kill me. Well, there that goes. It's running pretty efficiently. Tripping behind it all. Uh, nope. Nope. We're over the lip, but that's really coming out there. I'm going to have to plug that up. It's some silicone. But for now, I really need filtration running, so I'm not going to shut it off. He's beating up all around. Let's turn on the other one. See what happens. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Doesn't sound happy. I think it's filling with water. It's got a... Um, Prime a little bit. Let's this kink here. Damn it, this kink is really screwing me, screwing me over here. I don't know how to fix it. Let's see if I can't turn it in there. Ah, jeez. Oh, it's not working. Doesn't sound like it's running. Sounds like it's trying, but it doesn't look like there's any difference there in the flow. Alright, well, I'll keep messing with that. And maybe I'll make another clip to this tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. So, last night what happened was um, this hose was kinked right there so no water could get through. And um, I had a leak right there. In front, right now it's just wet because it's dripping, or it's uh, splashing, but there's no dripping going on there, so I got lucky. Um, I just need to figure out, there's the plucko, check him out. Just need to figure out how to reduce splash. So what I did was, in order to not have this kink, I had to zip tie this here, so that way uh, it would force it up, otherwise it was, you know, going down and kind of turning. So, anyway... Let me get in here and move my light. I just ran to Home Depot to get another light because I gotta light up that log, not only that one. So basically inside, you can see how full it is. It's actually above the pipe, but there it is. The water's rushing through. There's like a little vortex going. So it's pulling through all of the media, through all of that, which is good. It fills up actually a pretty good amount. And, uh, let me get on the other side. It's easier to see. Uh, what do we got? Okay, so I can... There you can see the water rushing through. The left, turn, the left side is uh, the 700 gallon per hour. The right side is the 1,000. You can see there's a big difference. Um, and, yeah, you can see how it's already working pretty well. It's starting to get clean. There's everything. The water is rushing out of there pretty quickly. And of course some water is going to go to the back, but mostly it's flowing over to the front and out. So I'll just close this. Probably not even going to snap it. Um, just because I'll need to get in there. So yesterday what happened was the water got underneath 
see how it kind of is there, but that just evaporates before it even falls to the ground or anything. So there was water traveling backwards and dripping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put something along here to raise this up and tilt it forward just in case that happens. So there's Big Mama. It's just chilling over there. Oh, and in order to fix the kink, um, I actually have to cut a piece off. I'd use that. And you can see right here it was it was really twisted and messed up. There was it was like this. Hold on. Just like that. Okay, so it's going like that. No good. So I just got a new light. I have my basking bowl uh, bulb. I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna see if I can't get a piece of wood to go across here and then shine down because once I put a bulb up there and the turtles decided to knock it over, which was not fun. So I'm gonna see if I can't play around. I'll probably end up moving that light onto the piece of wood because it'll cover a bigger area than the infrared one. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you build yourself a pretty efficient turtle filter. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. That's, that's pretty much it. There's a pump back there, a pump there. That's it. All right. I'll leave you alone. Bye.